Hello from London and the CFT Virtual Museum. This is our first update of the year, so a very happy new year to you. And on behalf of Traman, myself, and the whole CFT team, we also wish you an excellent new year of the Tiger. The last quarter of the year has been as busy as the rest of the year, with the transformation in financial services continuing at a swift pace. I'll show you. Follow me. For example, there are now more than 250 fintech companies worth more than $1 billion. The top 100 fintech companies represent 40% of the top 100 banks in market capitalization, so new entrants getting finance is not stopping. On the other hand, banks are hugely accelerating their tech investments, with JP Morgan, for example, announcing a record $12 billion to be invested this year with a big focus on cloud, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and cybersecurity. The transformation, the transformation of the industry is therefore not stopping, and it seems that 2022 will not be an exception. As for CFT, it has been an incredibly busy quarter. For example, in Abu Dhabi, we are rolling out the whole transformation program for government employees. It was a huge work with dozens of hours of courses created by international thought leaders, participants rated very highly. This is never easy to transform people and big, big credit to ADGM Academy and the partner government organizations for their leadership in making this happen. Closer to us in London, one of our bespoke digital academies is now almost completed. Hundreds of participants have now gone through eight months of training and will have completed their curriculum in two months and be fully fluent with the new world of finance. It's really impressive to see how the leaders of this major UK bank are preparing their employees for a world of tech-driven finance. In terms of our courses, FinTech 360, which is 15 minutes a day to understand FinTech, is now fully CP accredited and I'm very happy to share that the feedback on the course is stellar with participants loving the format, the quality of the experts and how they can even mint their certificates as an NFT at the end of the course. One of our focuses during the last six months was to build our research activities to make sure that we stay on the leading edge of teaching. For example, let me show you the FinTech job report is the first global research to analyze 40,000 jobs in fintech and to create a taxonomy of the new roles in finance. It gives a very good idea of the skills and where jobs in the industry are transforming. Also, our fintech unicorns tracker is now first on Google and is being used as a reference by Statista and many other organizations. We also launched the DeFi Observatory. Its objective is to understand more the convergence or non-convergence between DeFi and traditional finance. Its motto is test, learn, teach. So we're very active in the space to truly understand what's happening. For example, this virtual museum is one of our experiments. We hope you like it. And we have also been sending free NFTs to our community for them to understand more about this world. Let me show you. This is, for example, Serenity, a painting from my sister, which we created as an NFT and sent to our community. Or here is, for example, type. 888. Hopefully, you should have received either one or two of them. If you haven't, just tell us. Also, here is our first research on the metaverse, on the real estate in the metaverse. It was really well, um, really well received and was featured in a publication such as Forbes and presented at City, for example. The FinTech Founders series. 
which is uh, led by Ronit Ghosh and Gaurav Da, is now on its 10th episode and has featured incredible entrepreneurs from emerging markets. You can find it on Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, and also Zoom. And now finally, here we had our first real life event in 18 months. It was in London. It was about regulations in digital assets and having a diversity of views from Dave Birch to Carlos Figueredo to Shelly Mannion was excellent. We are now planning all our next events for the year. As for our next developments, we have dozens of courses in production from DeFi to ESG and very close to Traman's heart, who used to be at UBS. We are starting the development of the first specialization of fintech for private banking. So that's it for this time. And uh, we hope that we'll be seeing you in person, not uh, in the metaverse this year. And I will be having my first business trip since COVID at the end of February. And that will be, of course, in Singapore. So if you are in Singapore, let's have a copy together. Bye, everyone.